Welcome to Taiji's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you Kamakura. So today I'm in a small town called Kamakura, which is a great one day trip destination from Tokyo because it's only one hour away from Tokyo and it has a lot of beautiful historical sites as well as beautiful scenery because this used to be a capital of Japan for about 150 years or so before the Edo period. It's even called Kamakura period. And so I thought it might be interesting to show you this small town of Kamakura. Unfortunately, the weather isn't so great today. It's raining a little bit, but this is also another town where you can enjoy differently when it's raining. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully visit this area next time you have a chance to come to visit Japan. Then, let's get started. This is the one-day ticket for Enoden or Enoshima Railway. With this, you can ride how many ever times you want on a day. You can ride Enoden to get around Kamakura. This is Enoden, very old-style Japanese train. It's very unusual to have a single track in Japan like this. Then I got out at Hase Station. Then I walked a little bit to get to Hase Dera, where the famous Daibutsu or the big Buddha statue is located. These are Niozo, or the guardians of the temple. And we get to see the famous Daibutsu, or the big Buddha. These are the sandals for the size of the Daibutsu. We can also get some amulets here. We can also get some incense. What's special about this Daibutsu is that you can also go inside. How often do you get to go inside Buddha? It's so hard to believe this is almost 800 years old, standing here the whole time. And then I decided to get to another shrine through a hiking pathway. You definitely don't have to worry about getting lost because you see signs everywhere. There's of course an easier pathway going through the suburb, but if you choose this path, you definitely want some hiking shoes. Here's Zenyarai Benten, where you can launder your money legally. Here you can get some baskets and the incense. Here you put some money and wash your money. Supposedly washing the money with this holy water will double the money you have. These are called omikuji, a fortune telling sip. You can find these in most shrines and temples in Japan. This omikuji is rather unique because you can see the result when you soak it in the water. If the fortune was good, you can take the slip home, but if not, you can tie it like this and the bad luck is supposed to stay there. Here you can also see what's called Emma, where you write your wishes. So I decided to do that. Emma, 
今のは何ですか嫁あは You write your wishes like this and then hang it here ありがとうございましたいただきます。ごちそうさまでした。And walk down this shopping street. This place sells some traditional Japanese woodwork, chopsticks and wooden cups. Also some Japanese style T-shirts and some weird keychains. Shiba Inu toys. This place only sold Japanese style fans, many different kinds of them. And the space was only chopstick of different types of quality, probably only in Japan. You can also get your name carved. This store has many kinds of traditional Japanese goods. And some origami earrings. And these are called tenugui, Japanese traditional hand towels. And of course, some snacks. Here are some mochi with fruits in them, and some dango. This place imitates street vendors. Yakitori, and girls' seafood. Here you can choose from many different variations. Kakigori or shaved ice is also a very popular sweet in the summer. These are fried fish cakes. These are also so very delicious. And of course, some dango. I had to get some for myself. These are mitarashi dango. Something I also recommend to do when you have a chance to come to Japan is to rent a kimono. In many touristic places, you can find these kimono rental stores where you can rent and walk around wearing kimono. And you do see many people wearing kimono casually. And don't worry about cultural appropriation. Japanese people are very open about that. Then I arrived at Tsuruoka Hachimangu, the biggest shrine in Kamakura. In many shrines, they have kind of these mini stations where you can purify your soul. This one, if you walk through the rings in this order, your bad luck should leave you. So I tried it. This paper doll is supposed to take away all your bad luck with it. And then I walked up the stairs to get to the main altar. This place also has their own ema. They were also selling different kinds of amulets. Shrines in Japan often have another shrine within their property. Such as this one. This shrine supposedly worshipped the fox. Within the Tsuroka Hachimangu, they have a big pond covered with lotus. Then I left there to go to another famous temple, Hokokuji.
This temple was built about 700 years ago. This is Ojizo Sama, a protector of the children. What's special about this place is that they serve matcha or green tea in their bamboo forest. This type of garden is called kare sansui, representing a simplified version of the nature. Then it started raining heavily, so I decided to take the bus to the Kamakura station and then to go home. Thank you so so much for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I'd love it if you could hit the like button for me. Then I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.